on land, women who live along the shores of the Shima Peninsula do the same things that other Japanese grandmothers and mothers do in their daily routines. But in the ocean, they become skilled divers who work without air apparatus, capturing abalone for Japan's sushi bars and gourmet markets. The technique looks quaint, even primitive, but the best divers earn as much as $100,000 in a six-month season. They say the work is never boring. They'll do it as long as they can, as long as there are fit surroundings. For more than a thousand years, people on the Shima Peninsula have gone diving for fish and shellfish. In this part of the Western Pacific, warm currents from the Philippines meet cold currents from Siberia. They mix a rich broth of nutrients and it nourishes the vast variety of seafood for which Japanese cuisine is famous. Abalone is the prize catch. It's valued as a symbolic gift offered to gods as well as to people. It's also valued for taste. These days, the price ranges from $50 to $100 per kilogram on the dock, or at least twice that much in restaurants. For a dozen years, I've been coming to a Shima community called Fuseda. I'm trying to learn how people can maintain a balance between their wants and the needs of other species. The reefs themselves are broad and shallow and extend several miles to seaward, so that the diving takes place mostly at depths of less than 30 feet, which means that a diver can continue to go down repeatedly for up to an hour and a half or two hours. Modern technology provides wetsuits and power boats. This reduces the amount of energy a diver burns while working but the diving techniques are much the same as those sketched by Japanese artists centuries ago. A much bigger change has gone on in image work about women divers. Early drawings show them working topless. They worked topless until the 1920s. Then they covered up to protect themselves against tourist cameras and against police complaints about offending public morality. They reappeared all in white on postcards and in advertising for the cultured pearl industry that was booming in Shima at that time. And it became customary to write the word for diver with two graphs that mean woman of the sea, pronounced ama in Japanese. The abalone huntress was reborn as a virginal pearl girl, whom you can meet now in marine theme parks. Truth isn't important in advertising. I suppose not many people care that half of the commercial divers in Japan are male. Nobody asks male divers to pose for postcards. A further truth is that at least half of the female divers are over age 50. A diver needs more than youthful strength and endurance. She needs to know where the abalone are, and that can take years to learn. <laughs> One big reason why I keep coming back to Fuseda is that being here forces me to think again about those cliché ideas we moderns hold with regard to work and gender, age and the human physique. Kiyo Tabata is 78 and has been diving for more than 60 seasons. She's the senior woman in the house, which means that her son's wife does the cooking and serving, and Kiyo-san's wishes tend to be taken as commands. It wasn't always this way. <laughs> Soon after she finished primary school, Kiyo-san had to find work. She was hired to take care of a neighbor's child, but after a year, she decided to try diving. Her husband was killed in World War II, leaving her with two small children to raise. In the summer, she worked as an ama. In the winter, she hired out as a day laborer. There were few other jobs open to Shima women in the old days, 
Men had more options, but Shima was so poor that many men as well as women had to leave and find work elsewhere. Kiyosan's mother joined a group from Fuseda who were hired to dive for abalone off the coast of Korea. I never saw Korea, but I was in the womb when my mother went. Her boatman said, hey Hatsu, you got